Now last time I had all those troubles, I thought that it was the coil on the other side here, and there we go, I thought it was that coil that was the problem. Uh, it actually turned out it was just the connections around the coil which just needed to be uh, resoldered, and so once I did that then the thing worked really well. Uh, now I've been giving the fast tracks lots of abuse, and uh, it's been playing up again, so I'm just going to redo a few of these joints and see if that makes it work properly. See, all I need to do here is just remelt the solder and it uh, reforms the connections. I'm going to avoid these rows here because on the other side of that is uh, an integrated circuit and those are very sensitive to heat. Not all of them are, but a lot are, and it's just better to be safe than sorry. What's on the other side of that? Oh, it's just a whole heap of resistors on, that, uh, on this bit here. So I'm quite happy putting some heat into that. <laughs> you don't want to suddenly breathe in when you're working with solder. Uh, what I was concerned about was whether I'd just created a short circuit, but I haven't. Purists would say that I'm putting a little bit too much solder on here, and yes I am. Although a lot of them were underdone before, hence why it broke. So yes, they are looking fairly messy now, but uh, I'd rather it's slightly messy than not working. Ah, there we go. I'm not sure if you could see that. Yeah, you might have just been able to see that up the top of the screen now. Uh, that one is probably where the problem was this time. What's on the other side of that? Yeah, that's a capacitor. That, that would very much tie in. Right, so with a radio receiver you have two components which are really, really important among other things. Bother it! Just to finish off that story I was starting there, you have two really important components of um, a radio receiver. And there's actually a whole heap of parts, but uh, uh, there's two parts which are relevant to what I'm going to tell you. You see here we have a coil. Now, the coil allows low frequencies to pass through, but not high frequencies. A capacitor, on the other example, on the other hand, that can change very quickly, but um, slow changes don't um, don't get reflected so well. So, therefore, this influence this allows high frequencies to be worked with, uh, and not so much low frequencies. So you combine these two things together, and then you have a very specific frequency which the circuit works well with. So therefore, you have an aerial, which, um, ah, you won't be able to see that well, but you have an aerial uh, of a specific length, and so therefore that is sensitive to a specific set of frequencies. So combining that with the uh, resonant frequency that is created from these two things as well, then you create a circuit that is very susceptible to receiving a certain frequency. Now, how AM versus FM works, there's a whole heap of complexities in that. But the basic idea is that if you can then be sensitive to a particular frequency, you can do this technique over and over in different ways, and so therefore you can do various tricks to do things like FM and all sorts of other cool stuff. The point is, if you then um, have a bad um, connection on the capacitor or on the coil, that is a very good place to look. If, if you're having any problems with uh, intermittent um, behavior, so for example with this, it would be driving, it would receive its signal fine, then it would get a little bump and it would stop, but then the process of stopping uh, would give it a little bump as well, and so that would start it going again. So the thing would be going bup, 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 and sort of going rah, and all that was is that one of these two components was the connection was coming and going and so therefore the resonant frequency of the circuit was changing however the frequency being transmitted from the transmitter uh, was staying the same all the time so therefore um, it's the command started and stopped. I hope that makes sense. So this is a bit where I have to hold it carefully so I don't sort of send the thing flying. This should now be on and it is. Okay, so this should now make, uh, we'll make this one here go. So this should now make this uh, go solidly. That sounded pretty good. 
Okay, we'll just make it go a bit faster and we may notice the change here. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to reassemble it. There's some fun going on next door.